which is very cool. And then the inside of the leg, there is this one piston here which does not move at all. I'm sorry about that. But it does, when you open and close it, seem to look like at least that the silver piece is moving with the leg or the foot, which does accent it. Now, in terms of mobility, the head, oh, and the head pops off so you can rotate the eye around with a little screw piece that they deliver to you also. Or not in this kit, that's in another Zaku kit, my fault. The head rotates this way and that and goes up and down a little bit. And if you want, you can actually wiggle it off so it can rotate more, but it basically only really rotates. The, hip, the waist does have more movement. It goes down pretty far. Well, let me just throw from this. It goes down pretty far. It doesn't go back, though, any at all. And it goes... But, I mean, the forward motion is pretty impressive itself. Now, for the legs. The skirt armor does move out of the way fairly well. So, you can go out pretty far like that. You can almost do full splits without losing the armor. And you can go forward about that much. And he bends at the knee about there, which is about a 90 degree angle. Now the foot, I am very impressed with. Even though it's not exactly um, anything other than, you know, typical flat-footed Zaku design, which is not much better than the high grades, it does have this little thing where it comes down this much. It comes out that much, so you can either put him in a p pose where he is standing, or kneeling, sort of, and so you can put his foot down this much. So he goes that to there. So it's pretty impressive. And side to side motion is pretty good. Um, and it comes back in, so you can pretty much do a lot. The foot does not rotate, though, however. It rotates a little bit. Just a little. I mean, if you pull it down, it rotates more, but only little bits of motion. Now, in terms of the arms, especially Ian, or hey, you, you, hi, you. How does he move his arm? Well, with this padding here, it does become quite tricky to move his arm any more than there. But they have designed it so that the padding comes, or this shoulder pad or armor here, comes all the way up so you can actually lift his arm up this much if you so choose. And his arm comes out a little bit, which just enough to help with movement. So his arm comes out about that much and has about this much movement. And now if you p keep pulling it out some more, he gets even more movement and he can go this far. Which does help when he's holding either his baz um, bazooka or his machine gun. Now, on the other side, his shield does move up and down and rotate about this much. It's fairly good. 